And it's just, it's the constant virtue signaling with this piece of shit. That's the problem with Mitt Romney. It'd be one thing if he were a Democrat. I understand it. But it's another when he claims to, uh, he, cl he claims certain values. He yeah. claims shared principles. And then he never stands on them consistently. And he wants to say, hey, everyone, look, hey, aren't I great? Look how inconsistent I am. Uh, and I'm, I've been waiting for this oh, for a yeah. while, and I don't know why it took so long. Uh, Mitt Romney, what a piece of shit. All right. So we have uh, a few reasons here as to why Romney is just the worst. And you know, you probably know what happened just recently. But does anybody like Mitt? Comment below. Did you, did you vote for Mitt Romney? And still, you know what? You know what? Hold on a second. Before, I want to hear from the Mormons. Yes. Because, and I, I get, because, you know how when like terrorist attacks happen, we say, well, there aren't enough, there aren't enough moderate Muslims like condemning it across. Mormons, you need to <laughs> condemn Mitt Romney. You guys owe us We do it apology. with the Westboro Baptist Church. <laughs> yeah. We're like, well, they're not, there's like only 12 members and eight of them have flippers. They're all brother and sister. Yeah. We don't, they're not. They, so Mitt Romney, you know, because he gives, unfortunately, a lot of people go like, oh, look, he's Mormon. I don't think he's actually really Mormon. What? I think he's a Scientologist. I kind of feel that way too. Yeah. Wait, why? And his full name, Mittens. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh, Mittens. Like a cat. I don't even think he's a person. <laughs> really? right. I think he's a cat in a people costume. Cat, cat self. That's his yeah, full name. Just, is Mittens. That's a fact. Google. We should just dangle a piece of yarn out into the ocean. Yep. Yeah. See what? He's a cat in a people costume. What? I don't. Wait, no. Oh. oh. And... Do I like yarn? Do I not like yarn? I can't decide. I can't. Depends <laughs> on who I'm talking to. <laughs> He's pro-yarn, and then he's anti-yarn. Yeah, he's really anti-yarn today. <laughs> so a few examples of... Uh, he is the quintessential example. People talk about uh, uh, elite politicians. Yeah. Uh, people talk about the swamp. This guy has a career... He comes from a family of... Not, I don't just mean wealth, but he comes from a family of politicians. He's been in public office for a very long time. Yeah. Uh, what he did with Bain Capital was very different from starting a business from the ground up, right? You are sort of talking about that... What people... <laughs> Basically, going in and laying people off is what he would do. Now, I understand that that's, the, that's something that efficiency experts do. I get that. I understand it. But it's not the same as starting a business from the ground up. Right. So uh, a perfect example of how shitty, and just so you, if you have kids, you should have been tipped off with a what a piece of shit segment. The word's <laughs> going to make a recurring appearance. As to how shitty he is, this is a perfect example of how out of touch with the average American he is when he made the, uh, the two Cadillac flub. I like the fact that most of the cars I see are, are Detroit-made automobiles. I drive a Mustang and a, uh, and a Chevy pickup truck. Ann drives a, a couple of Cadillacs, actually. And uh, uh, I used to have a Dodge truck, so I used she, to have all three cars. She's riding covered. them like skis? Yeah, just... <laughs> she's got a couple of caddies. He, no just big deal. he just basically said, yeah, we have five or six cars that we just yeah. rotate between. Yeah. Like, oh, way to connect. And we put our dog on the roof of all of them. Yes, indeed. <laughs> We have two Cadillacs in every garage in this country. That's the American dream. And then we have a Dodge Ram in the driveway. And then I also yeah. have a Taurus show. Right. There's yeah. a couple Mustangs. Mm -hmm. He's trying and to name I, every uh, American Four brand. private jets. <laughs> yes. And I also have uh, an Audi I'm hiding. And I love the Teslas. And two Nissans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tesla's good, too. Uh, yeah. Anything else made in the USA that I own? I never drive them, though. That's my uh, chauffeur, Cliff. Ah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. He, he drives them. Yeah. He says he loves them. Yeah. And uh, I have nothing against. If Look, I think it's great if you have wealth if you've accrued wealth i think it's yeah. great if you have cars that's fine it's just this is a guy who never understood how out of touch he was with the average american and now let me kind of parlay that into the american voter i don't know who he's trying to appease mitt romney i i i, I don't know i don't understand like this is a man who has no home he should be homeless <laughs> He deserves no home so in 94 and in 2002 of course mitt romney mm -hmm. was there was at here you go was adamantly pro abortion pro choice is that we're each entitled to have strong personal beliefs and we encourage other people to do the same but as a nation we recognize the right of all people to believe as they want and not to impose our beliefs on other people i believe that abortion should be safe and legal in this country i have since the time that my mom took that position when she ran in 1970 as a u.s senate candidate Shannon snuck a little extra point in there that I want to address, and that is with regards to my views with regards to protecting a woman's right to choose. And I've been very clear on that. I will preserve and protect a woman's right to choose, and am devoted and dedicated to honoring my word in that regard. Now, here's the thing. If you, Hillary Clinton, that wouldn't be a problem, okay? Right. But here's why he's such a piece of shit, <laughs> is because, and you can feel free to, when I say, well, yeah, yeah, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's your cue. We don't want to, <laughs> we don't want to misuse the soundboard. 
Respect the soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> soundboard Magnolia. Um, he then flip-flopped. You know, he said he changed his position in 2004, and his telling of it was he met a medical researcher working in embryonic stem cells, which ah. is entirely questionable. He was asked about it, I believe, in the primaries in uh, 2008. There was never a flash of genius moment, and I don't believe him. Let me tell you why I don't believe him. It would be one thing if he said, I was radically uh, you know, pro-choice, and yeah. I, was, uh, you know, I was a Democrat for a very long time because I didn't understand the science, and then I uh, became, you know, I converted to Mormonism, or I converted to Christianity, and through my faith, I did some more research, and I realized that I was wrong. Okay, that, but he didn't. Instead, he was like, I was, uh, I was pro-abortion, and then, uh, you know, uh, now I'm not. What a piece of shit. That's the issue. <laughs> yeah, he basically... <laughs> Licked his finger, put it up in the air, and said, "Which way is the wind blowing on right. this issue for my uh, my voters?" Uh, well, my the people. internet came out, and he was like, "Oh, I'll do that." Right? Yeah. <laughs> and then he was like, "Oh, wait. Does the internet does the internet also mean that they have the video from all the times I said that before?" Ooh. Yeah. I was shown polling recently that said people would like me more if I held this position. So you know what? I hold that position. But I also read polling that said uh, people will never like me. Oh, they will weird. never no like me. what I do. Do they also have uh, uh, videos of me in private crapping all over poor people? Oh, dear. Oh, oh no. my oh, word. Oh, my stars. Boy, that almost makes the two catalog, uh, two Cadillacs <laughs> seem like, what am I, Joe Biden right now? I just had a stroke. I just thought, well, because he has two catalogs of Cadillacs. He has two catalogs of Cadillacs. <laughs> yeah. He just looked through his own catalog. Why do you have a catalog of your cars printed? Yeah. Oh, I do, do you yeah. don't have these? You don't have your own Romney wish list and it's uh, just your garage? I'm sorry. You don't have no books full of women and cars? You must be stupid and poor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so in both impeachment proceedings against uh, President Donald Trump, uh, Mitt Romney, and he was one of the only Republicans, and again, it's just, it's the constant virtue signaling with this piece of that's the problem with Mitt Romney. It'd be one thing if he were a Democrat. I understand it. But it's another when he claims to, uh, he, cl he claims certain values. He yeah. claims shared principles. And then he never stands on them consistently. And he wants to say, hey, everyone, look, hey, aren't I great? Look how inconsistent I am. Yeah. And people are just like, that just makes you a, that just makes you a dick. He's like, nah, I prefer a piece of shit. <laughs> so <laughs> he voted for impeachment two times. Here you go. Here he is talking. The grave question the Constitution tasks senators to answer is whether the president committed an act so extreme and egregious that it rises to the level of a high crime and misdemeanor. <laughs> yes, he did. The president asked a foreign government to investigate his political rival. The president withheld vital military funds from that government to press it to do so. President delayed funds for an American ally at war so with Russian invaders. You talking about the Joe President's Biden? purpose was personal and political. Accordingly, the president is guilty of an appalling abuse of public trust. Okay. First off, <laughs> first off, we are all children. Yes. yes. Yeah. I Second, he's talking about Donald Trump and uh, Ukraine. And by the way, Zelensky said everything that guy said is bullshit. He said there was no quid pro quo. No. Zelensky said it's not true. This is not true. So Mitt Romney is up there grandstanding. And isn't it rich where he's like, he did this for political and personal purposes. Right. You've never done anything for political gain, Mitt Romney, like, of the Romney political dynasty. Yeah, like moving to Utah. Right. <laughs> so you can run. All right, Hillary. Yeah, he was a Detroiter for a long time, right? He was detroit well, Ish. Bloomfield Hills. Yeah. Massachusetts. Yeah. And then, you know. <sighs> Anywhere where there's... <laughs> money well yeah. where he can be voted into office now here's yeah, something yeah, else yeah. even for democrats uh this would it wouldn't be considered extreme but even now democrats will look back on it with shame yeah. i don't know if mitt romney is capable of shame because you know no. he's a sociopath so uh march 15th 2022 he vote this is not that long ago i don't know if you know this this is just a couple <laughs> weeks ago he voted in favor of keeping the federal mask mandate on children. Just like, even uh -oh. when he stands nothing to gain politically, because at that point, people are like, we were wrong about that. Yeah. Mitt Romney's like, no, look, I'm still dumb. <laughs> you don't need a mask law for children. There's plenty of ways. They're, they're kids. They'll believe anything. You can scare the shit out of them in so many ways. Yes, exactly. Just drop it already, you <laughs> no. know? It's unreal when I still see this. And instead, let's uh, spend that money on getting them estrogen pills. But here's yeah. Mitt Romney voting uh, in favor of it. Next, we have Braun Amendment number eight. Well, now to I just hate HHS more. from implementing or enforcing their regulations regarding mask or vaccination protections in the Head Start program. Again, I will be a no on this. Watch this. Does anyone want Senator Braun's 15 seconds? 
Seeing none, clerk will call the roll. Aye by proxy. Senator Romney. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Romney, he sucks! Hey! She She's almost right. looking at him like, Romney, are you going to... No? Really? All right. <laughs> Now, here's the thing. The most recent one, of course, you know, this just happened yesterday. Uh, uh, Romney, or yesterday, or a couple days ago, was it? On April 4th. was on April 4th. What, are we so the 6th? No, we're the 5th. We're the 5th, okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Romney, uh, he did, he came out and he said that he would be voting to confirm uh, former Vice President Biden's radical uh, Supreme Court nominee, uh, Ketanji Brown-Jackson. Mm -hmm. Now, and that's, that shocks some people. This shocks you. For very good reason. So here's the weird thing. He voted against her. And I say her as in a woman. <laughs> he voted against her when she was nominated to the D.C. Uh, appellate court. Yeah, long, long time in ago, 20, right? Yeah, well, in 2021. Oh, 2021. Yeah. Oh, so you, 2021. Mean like, so you mean like there's almost no new information right. that could possibly be available. Hey, everybody, oh. come and look at how not racist I am. <laughs> yeah. Sure, I was months ago. <laughs> right. But, but now, I've changed my ways since December. Mitt Romney is the only person <laughs> on whom Whoopi Goldberg's reverse psychology works. It absolutely works. You're not going to vote for Are you racist, child? No, I'm Mormon. <laughs> Define <laughs> her. No one can do that. How dare you? And people always say, they go, well, no one else was ever asked that. Well, you know why? Because everyone else in, throughout the history of mankind would have been able to answer it. It never came up. No, it never came no up. No one ever had, exactly. No one was ever like, can you tell me what a woman is? And somebody was like, I, mean, I, don't, I have no idea. Right, exactly. And the reason it wasn't asked was because we didn't have men competing and winning in women's sports. Now, yeah. I know what you're saying. When you say men, what do you mean? I mean, male with a penis in the pool with women. Yeah. Saying he's a woman. Yes. The because thought, he believes it, because he is. Yes. She. The thought never crossed their minds that there would ever be any debate. <laughs> and, and, and some people now are trying to argue this is just gotcha. No, no, it's relevant because you yeah. will have cases that will get kicked up to the Supreme Court. And by the way, the legal definition of woman matters at this point mm -hmm. for things like Title IX. By the way, for uh, sexual abuse laws, just to be clear, of course it matters. It didn't used to matter because no one thought... That woman would just be a figment of your imagination, or it could be anyone who chooses to put on a maxi dress that day. Mitt Romney, what a piece of shit. That's, I'm done with this guy. Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.